Well, still in the Middle East, uh, the fight against the Islamic State continues as Iraqi forces move deeper into Mosul on the eastern side of the city. Battles continue in the western desert between Mosul and Syria as forces close in on Tal Afar. That's a key city where Islamic State militants are expected to launch a bitter defense. But soldiers from the Shia militia say operations are slowing as winter sets in and increasing number of civilians are being held as human shields. VOA Heather, VOA's Heather Maddock reports. More than two and a half years ago, IS militants captured this village, Bashmana, saying they were liberating the population from the government before destroying lives and livelihoods. About two months ago, Iraqi forces, including Shia militias, known here as Hashid Shabi, recaptured the village, and it is now slowly coming back to life. When Hashid Shabi arrived, locals say the tiny Sunni Muslim community was terrified sectarian violence would ensue. IS militants made us afraid of Hashabi. Even the media made us afraid. But after the liberation, we saw the opposite of what we had heard. We saw the truth. And soldiers say Hashid Shabi has captured at least 80 villages from IS, but the most difficult battle lies ahead. As the winter weather sets in, both sides have slowed down, but Islamic State militants continue to launch attacks. Despite the setbacks, Hashid Shabi leaders say they are preparing to go into the city of Tal Afar, a strategic IS stronghold lying between Mosul and the Syrian border. We must liberate Mosul and Tal Afar soon, but the goal for Iraqi forces is not to just liberate the place from IS militants. The goal is to free the people from IS militants and bring the area back to life again. Right now, there are many civilians in Tal Afar. And civilians, he says, are the greatest challenge for Iraqi forces as more ordinary people are forced to retreat to protect militants who, soldiers say, would often rather die than surrender. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Nineveh Province, Iraq.